We don't have time for the theme song. <laughs> a lot of work to do today. It's time to get started. Do you see all these emails? I bet you have the same thing in your email and it's driving you crazy. Well, you know what? These are just little reminders. So I'm just, I don't need to look at these. I'm just going to get rid of these because all you need to look at is the classwork tab. Check this out. Like this stream, this stream is insane. Like, there's so much stuff. No wonder you like, I don't know what to do. I've heard, I've heard your complaints and I understand this screen. This is insane. I have an idea. I want you to go classwork. See up at the top where it says stream. Don't look at the stream. Don't look at the stream anymore. Stop looking at it. The stream. I have very little control over it. Very little control over it. Click classwork. When you click on the classwork tab, it shows you a very organized, neat and organized orderly view. At the, so, and it will be in chronological order. Isn't this nice? So if you scroll down to the bottom, learning how to learn at home, that was all last week's stuff. And it's all there. And I started adding emojis as icons. Look at this guys and little subtitles to make it even better for you. So when you see the little notepad icon, the word assignment, you know, that's an assignment. That's like something I need you to do. If you see a little TV icon, the word video, that's a video I posted that might help you. Uh, so you check it out. If you need to watch it, watch it. If you know what you're doing, you don't need to watch it. Don't watch it. What you need to do, always need to do is the assignments with the memo pad. If you see this little word balloon, dot, 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 and it says quick topic, that's a very short, easy to do assignment. I still need you to do it, but it's quicker. So typically the quick topics are only worth five points while assignments are worth 20 points. And again, if it says video, that's there to help you. Okay, that's a learning material. Watch it if you need to. Don't watch it if you don't need to. But if you ask me for help and it's covered in the video, I'm going to tell you watch the video I made. Okay, so here's this week's digital learning week three, and I've got a video how to do today's work. That's what you're watching right now. I'm hoping you watched it. Otherwise, you won't know what to do. Uh, I also am going to be posting a video shortly called this week's shout outs. If you do something really cool, I'm going to shout out to you. And that's going to be in the, uh, I'm going to post that every week. So kids keep doing what you're doing. Those of you who rise above, you're getting a shout out from me. Uh, also, if you don't do any work this week, you're getting an all call home. Yes, because uh, we are tracking attendance. Basically, if you don't do anything in my class all week, I'm marking you absent and then you're getting one of those auto generated calls. If you do some work, but not all your work, I'm marking you tardy. And if you do all your work, I'm marking you present. So if you don't want your home getting that auto phone call, do your work. So today's quick topic is, what do you care most about? Go to this answer garden and use one word answers to fill the garden with your feelings. The question is, what do you care most about right now? The more popular a response, the bigger it will show up. Once finished, click done. So let's take a look at that. Here's an answer garden. I wonder if you've seen it before. Anyway, what I care most about right now is family. I'm going to submit that. And notice family is the biggest word right now. That means it's had the most responses. And if you highlight a word, it can show you how many people posted that word. So family has four so far. Someone cares about sleep. Someone said my family, exclamation points, my well-being, my plants and my pets. Oh yeah, my plants. Here's one. And here's the others. I had to bring them home from school so they wouldn't uh, die of thirst. You know, be honest here. Type what you care about right now. Maybe you care right now about food. Maybe you're hungry at this moment in time. Whatever you care most about right now, that's how you do an answer garden. When you are finished doing that, all you got to do, because I know that I did it, is click view assignment. 
I'm going to say I just answered it. I wrote family. So here's the class comment. So I just answered it. I wrote family. And I'm going to mark it as done because I did it. You watched me. It's done. And now I'm going to go back to the class. Ignore the stream. I'm going to click classwork. Always click classwork. That's done. Look, it says turned in. Next assignment, complete this pair deck. This is a 20 pointer. When you click on it, it's going to say use this link to join the pair deck activity or go to join PD and enter PXSWW. Let me try to go. Oh, yeah, the handy link looks like it worked just fine. How am I feeling today? I feel great. There we go. So if you've never done Pear Deck before, it's a slideshow that you interact with. So here is just a slide to read. I'll read it to you. Line is one of the seven elements of art. It is considered by most to be the most basic element of art. When you're done reading a slide, click the little arrow at the bottom. Let's read more about line. A mark made upon a surface. In order to be a line, the mark's length must be longer than its width. There are many different types of line, including horizontal, vertical, wavy, diagonal, and more. Next. These are some great examples of line, different lines you can draw. I think my favorite here is a graduated. I do that all the time when I'm bored. I do this on all of my papers. And now here's a video slide, line. Visual vocab, it says click on the screenshot to watch this video or the link below. Let's see what happens. I clicked on the screenshot. Line. And here's a video about line. Line lines. refers to a marking so or that. set. When you're done watching it, click next. Here's another video for you. Check that out. When you're done watching that video, click next. And here's the fun part. A drawing slide. So you can draw, says draw as many different kinds of lines as you can think of. So here's a wavy line. Let me do my little, by the way, you can change the size and the tools. So here's a straight line tool. And you click once and you drag and you let go. Click and hold, drag, let go. Click and hold, drag, let go. Click and hold, drag, let go. Or you can freehand your line. You can change the colors. You can change the thickness with the sizer here. So here's a bold line. And I'm going to make some tiny lines. This is cross hatching lines. You get the idea. You mess up, you can erase, or you can hit undo. And when you're done drawing, click next. Here's another drawing slide. Do what it says. I'm not going to do this all for you. Here's another video. Check that out. Yeah, it's asking you to draw happy lines, do that. Draw angry lines, do that. Draw calm lines. Silly lines. When you get to the end, I just want you to draw some pictures and write your own definitional lines. You actually want to click the text tool and type here. Own words about what line. Cool. All righty then. When you're finished, you've done all 14 slides at the bottom and you have the little check mark, then you're done and you can close it because I have your answers. They're automatically saved in here. So you can close it and then if you know you did it, click view assignment, say all done. And you can mark as done. Or if you have a question for me, you can say, Wait, wait, I have a question. What is it we are supposed to be doing? And then I will reply with, watch the video. That shows you how. 
to today's work. Or you might say, my Chromebook isn't working. And I will say, then use your phone. Here is a video that shows you how to use your phone. If you are signed up for Google Classroom on your phone, look, this is nuts. Just ignore it. Totally ignore it. Like, this is going to drive you crazy. I'm just going to, like, start, just, just get rid of this crap. Just get rid of it. Okay? I'm going to show you how to not be overwhelmed. Just a quick tutorial on how to do this on your phone. So always sign in with your student account. Ignore the stream, click on classwork at the bottom of your phone, and that looks much nicer. And then you can click on the quick topic, click on the link, and that will take you to Answer Garden, which you can do right from your phone. Swipe up to submit. You can click on the Pear Deck on your phone, click on the link, it will open up Pear Deck in a browser on your phone. You can say how you're feeling. What's great about this is it will actually pick up right where you left off if you started it on the computer, as long as you're signed in with your Google student account. What I like about using it on the phone is it makes drawing slides way easier. So you can zoom in things and do that with your finger, which is more simpler. You can watch the YouTube videos right from your phone. You can do the entire Pear Deck from your phone if you want to. Uh, I will go live every now and then and I'll post it in the stream. You might get an email from it. That would be the only reason from this point forward to look at the stream is to see if I'm live for help. Uh, email me if you need help. Leave a comment if you need help. I promise I will help you. Look, I'm done for the week. It's that easy. But if you need help, I'm here to help you. Signing off. Where's my face? This bookcase is supposed to be over here. This curtain is supposed to be over here. I can't handle this. It used to let you flip it. Flip back. Why? Flip it. What? It's gone. Is this flip? Um. Okay. This is so organized. This is not overwhelming at all. Okay. So here, under learning how to learn at home, is all classroom stuff. If you get that phone call, if you. Excuse me, uh, you got any grapes?